Hello. Okay. It's very rainy. Yeah, it's like, let me put my boop. butt in your face. Boop, boop. All right, so I got sent a wig from Premeditated Wigs. Uh, can you go get it? Premeditated Beauty. Oh, okay. Uh, Premeditated Beauty. It is bright green. So I'm going to do a little bit to it to make it uh, less neon. I guess I'm not going to change most of the wig. I might add like some color to the roots. But I was thinking that I could use it for a K. Fierce cosplay um, from Holly Black's series Modern fairy tales and the first one is tithe and they were like my favorite books growing up i always wanted to be k so i figured i could dress up as her i think her hair is actually dark so i think i'm gonna darken the roots a little bit so it looks like it starts dark and then gets light i don't know that's how hair works right so that's what we're doing today before we get started let's pick a cocktail orange blossom gin sweet vermouth oj orange wedge simple all of these have gin in it. We're gonna run out of gin. Guess we'll have to buy more gin. Sounds delicious. <laughs> Keep it. All right, add the gin, sweet vermouth, and orange juice into a shaker with ice and shake until well chilled. Yay! Yes, okay. Good. It's not my favorite. Not, yeah, okay. It feels like it's missing something. I'm gonna put simple syrup in it. Okay. It just still feels bitter or something. Seltzer? Sure. We're coming very off course with this now. Yeah, that's better. Uh -huh. It was like too concentrated. All right, well, apologies for this kind of like weird lighting setup. It is very dark today. There's a honey bee fur on my mirror. It's really rainy today, so it's kind of dark. So uh, I have a big light and I'm shooting this through my mirror actually. So like the camera's just pointing at my mirror and like I'm standing sitting in front of my mirror. I don't know if that makes sense, but I didn't think that I would be able to like do anything with the wig if I wasn't looking in a mirror. So I tried to like, Try to do something clever. All right, well, first I'm gonna put my hair in a wig cap so that I don't accidentally cut anything on my own hair. When I put my hair in a wig, I just do four braids on my head and then I like wrap them around my head. That keeps it pretty flat and unobtrusive. I've got my four braids. I'm just gonna wrap them around my head. I'm gonna try to keep them off of this part so that this part is flat. Got a wig cap. I like the mesh ones better because you can pin into them. I don't like the stocking ones because, I don't know, cosplay, I always need to pin into it because I never feel like my wigs are secure enough. I want this stuff like nailed to my head. Right, that's pretty secure. Let's check out the wig. This is a lace front and I cannot, I, I think it's like Martian Queen or something is the name of it. I'll put it like up top or something. Ask me what color I want. I gave them three things that I was interested in and I was like, surprise me. And they didn't surprise me. They asked if this one was okay. <laughs> this is right out of the bag. It's nice. It's very pretty and very silky. Doesn't seem to tangle very bad. I did take this out of the bag once before. So if it's a little messy looking, that's on me. This is a lace front. So I'm going to be cutting all this lace off. So that's what I'm going to do first. And then once I've got the lace off, then I can like decide if I want to color the roots or something. She is on there and secure. Beautiful. Perfect. Take these little snips. These are snips. They're not nail scissors. They're like actual thread snips. And I'll just yeah, go ahead and go. Gotta get close to the mirror because I can't wear my glasses. Okay. Let's not cut anything important. Trying to leave the edge a little bit jaggedy so it's not super obvious when it's got makeup on it. Because if it's like a really straight edge, I think it'll be really obvious. All right, let's just let's cut you off. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Look at that. Did a good job. Not just because I'm not wearing glasses either. 
Alright, I'm gonna cut the rest of this off afterwards because this part is not really gonna show. So mostly I wanted to make sure the front part was nice. Wow, that kind of looks like real hair. I mean, it's a little shiny, but it looks like it could be my hair, maybe. I think it looks really cool, and I think I do wanna, I wanna make the roots darker, but I gotta figure out how to do it without like messing it up. Maybe I should make the ends darker instead. All right, I'm gonna think about it, and then whatever I decide, you'll see in the next clip. Oh, but I guess I should talk about the wig. It is very pretty. I have never considered this hair color on me before, and I don't know if it is the most flattering with my skin tone. I used a really like sheer coverage foundation today, and it's not even, it's like more of a tinted moisturizer, and I didn't powder myself, so I'm a little, a little shiny and also a little bit pink. I want to like figure out a costume that I can wear with this just because I want to wear it more. So let's figure out what we want to do with this now. I'm all green, I'm gonna put the wig on. I got my wig cap on. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna use eyelash glue to glue the hairline down. I don't think I've ever actually glued a lace front wig before. I don't use them very often because like most of the anime characters that I cosplay have bangs. So we'll see. My hair just keeps escaping this wig cap. I look kind of like the Grinch now that I am looking at it. <laughs> Should I be using not eyelash glue for this? Probably. But eyelash glue is what I got, so just hold that there for a little bit. Looks really silly with my normal colored hands other than my green face. <laughs> Let's get this side down a little better. Just gonna do a little bit at a time. I don't know if this is like the wrong size for me or if I'm just doing something wrong. I very well could just be doing something wrong but it seems like it's kind of wrinkling around my skin. I don't know. Premeditated Beauty asked me to show how I would style and put on this wig, and uh, I gotta say, I'm not, I'm not so good at putting on lace front wigs. I don't know if I was the best candidate for this. It just won't stick to my face. I don't know if it's because of the paint. Maybe I should use actual spirit gum. Okay, I'm gonna put some eyeshadow around the hairline and hopefully that will help camouflage that. It's just not sticking at all. Why are you like this? Why do you hate my skin? I'm trying my best out here, guys. Forehead application was just kind of splotchy, oops. Well, it looks pretty good, right? I feel like a very cool alien. I'm supposed to be a pixie. This little section just won't stick down, and I don't know why. If you are better at wigs, please explain to me what I'm doing wrong. And if it's just that I'm not supposed to use eyelash glue, I guess suggest 
So you're just a better glue for me to use, please. I'm trying so hard. Okay, wait, let me zoom out. There we go. What do you think? I like how the roots are darker. I, I'm glad that I decided to do that. I think that it um, makes it match the skin tone a little bit more. Skin tone, like it's a real skin tone. But like, if you don't wanna do that, you don't have to. This wig is really pretty just out of the bag and it's a really cool color. It's not a color I would normally pick, but I felt adventurous. So I gave it to them as one of the options, one of the choices. So they picked, they picked the kind of weird one and I'm happy. Yeah back. Alright, so after I've like airbrushed it and styled it a bunch, it is getting a little tangled in the back, but usually what I do is just spray my wigs down with Motions oil. It's like a spray oil for hair and that just fixes it entirely. Also, this is coming out immediately with just like a wide tooth comb, so no worries there. I keep wanting to take a sip of my tea, but I think that my, my lip makeup will all come off if I do, so I'm gonna not. Do I look like Kay? Kay is like one of my favorite characters in in books. Tithe was my favorite book series growing up besides like the Wheatsy Bat series, the Wheatsy Bat series and the Modern Fairy Tales. So Modern Fairy Tales by Holly Black and Wheatsy Bat by Francesca Delia Block were my two very favorite series and they were very formative. They turned me into the weird fairy loving child that I was so. I'm really happy to get to dress up as Kay and someday I hope to like do a full cosplay of Kay and like get the sclera lenses so I have the black pixie eyes and I guess I'll be painting my whole entire body, do one of her little outfits that she wears and I don't know, I think that would be a lot of fun. I really like those books. They are not spicy at all. Oh, also I think that it's very interesting. So Tithe came out about 10, 15 years ago. So they are quite a bit older, but I think it's very interesting how the love interests change. The love interest in Tithe is Roybin, and he is like l tall with long white hair and very like Sephiroth looking, if you are into Final Fantasy at all. That was like kind of the archetype of dudes that was very popular then. You had like Sephiroth and Sashomaru from Inuyasha, and Roybin was like all these like tall, long haired men. But that was very much a type that was popular when I was growing up when I was like a teenager. Every single love interest now is the same kind of pale to semi not pale dude with black hair that's sh like short-ish like long but not like long long. All of the white haired protagonists from when I was growing up all had like waist length hip length hair so they had very long hair so I, I don't know I feel it, like it's really interesting to see how how Holly Black's books have kind of reflected the change in ideal love interest or male character design so I just think that's really funny to think about and interesting. Personally I will always love Robin more than I love Cardan. Sorry to to the Cruel Prince series. That's pretty much this whole video. I hope you guys liked it. I, this is a little bit different than what I normally do, but you know, Vlogmas. I also am gonna be doing a little bit more wig stuff and a little bit more face painting. I'm gonna have a video where I follow Jenny D's uh, makeup tutorial because I need to actually like figure out how to do my raven makeup. So I'm gonna be doing a little bit more general cosplay focused rather than just making focus. Like so we're gonna be branching out a little bit more even and so get ready for that. I don't know, I, I really like how this looks. I think I like how I look better when I'm like in weird face paint or like bloodied up or something. I feel like looking like a normal human puts too much pressure on me, so weird thoughts. Thank you to Premeditated Beauty for sending me this wig. It's really beautiful. You guys should check it out. Yeah, just just look at it. Look at it. It's pretty. Wow. All right, we're almost to the end of Vlogmas, so I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. All right, happy Vlogmas. Bye, guys.